In this Planner's Digest video, we're diving into the fascinating world of the elderberry plant and its treacherous lookalikes. So, grab your gardening gloves and let's get started. Ah, the elderberry plant, a true gem of nature. But hold on tight, because this plant has not one, not two, but three wicked lookalikes that can lead us astray. Let's first learn how to identify the genuine elderberry shall we. When it comes to elderberry, it's all about the berries, stems, branches, and leaves. The elderberry shrub typically grows between 5 to 12 feet tall, with stout, greenish-gray stems that have a distinct corky texture. The leaves are opposite, pinnately compound, and comprised of 5 to 11 leaflets. They have a serrated edge and a vibrant green color. Now, here's the real treat the elderberries themselves. These dark purple to black berries grow in clusters, much like grapes. They're small, round, and contain multiple seeds. But remember, they must be fully ripe before consuming. Unripe elderberries can be toxic, causing nausea and other unpleasant symptoms. But before you start foraging for this berry, beware. Nature loves to play tricks on us, and the elderberry has not one, not two, but three deadly doppelgangers that we must learn to recognize. First up, we have the pokeweed. The pokeweed, also known as Phytolaca americana, may fool the untrained eye. It's a tall perennial plant with large, ovate leaves, and dark purple berries that resemble elderberries. The difference between this and elderberry is how the fruits are attached to the stem. Elderberries grow in clusters, while pokeberries grow one berry on each stem. All parts of the pokeweed plant are highly poisonous, and ingestion can cause severe gastrointestinal distress. So, keep your distance. Now, on to our next imposter, the devil's walking stick or Aurelia spinosa. This villainous shrub can tower up to 26 feet in height and has spiny stems, earning it the name walking stick. Its clusters of small, black berries can be mistaken for elderberries, but don't be fooled. The main trait to look out for is the presence of thorns on this plant, because the elderberry has none of those. Devil's walking stick berries are highly toxic and can lead to vomiting, dizziness, and even paralysis. So, walk away from this one. Last but not least, we encounter the deadly water hemlock, or Cicuta maculata. This perennial herb looks innocent with its delicate white flowers and clusters of small, greenish-white fruit. To differentiate this plant from the elderberry, look out for how it grows and its appearance. It grows in bunches with large tubers and has stems with grooves, but are hairless. Every part of the water hemlock is highly poisonous, containing the toxin cicutoxin. Ingestion can result in seizures, respiratory failure, and, unfortunately, even death. Stay far away from this imposter. If we taught you something new about the elderberry plant, consider subscribing to our channel. Have you tried elderberries before? How was it? Let us know in the comments below. Nature offers many other yummy treats. Click now to learn all about the chicken of the woods.